hello everyone welcome back to mrs dream food channel i hope everyone is doing well in today's video i'm going to show you how to make a very simple budget friendly Ghanaian fish stew infused with some chinese leaves so let's get started so i have chopped here three medium sized onions and i have got here on the side one small onion a little piece of ginger three scotch bonnets and about five garlic cloves I've also got here one cup of a vegetable oil but please feel free to use any oil type you like so let's get started I am going to blend the onion garlic ginger and pepper and I'm using my hand mixer and I'm also going to add a shen all purpose seasoning if you haven't tried this seasoning it is just amazing and it smells so so good you can contact them on Instagram and to that I'm going to add in half a cup of water so now I am also going to add my Asian all-purpose seasoning and then I am going to add some smoked paprika next I'm going to add some fish seasoning and a little bit of salt and now I am going to blend it make sure it is well blended nice and smooth all right I am almost there you can also use a normal stand mixer if you like so now I am going to pour my oil in my cooking pan and when it's hot I am going to fry the onions for about three to four minutes or until it is translucent on a medium heat now I am going to add it the blended pepper garlic onion and ginger stir and let it fry for about five minutes I'm also going to add in my tomato puree or tomato paste to it so this is after five minutes and I'm adding the tomato you don't have to use two tubes you can use just one but I like it very rich but it's totally up to you all right so now stir it and make sure it is well mixed and leave it to cook for about seven minutes on a medium heat to low make sure it doesn't burn I've also got my tomatoes here and I'm using plum tomatoes feel free to use tomato sauce or anything and I've just blended it so now I am going to add the tomatoes to it and then I'm going to stir it gently then I'm going to cover it and leave it to cook for about 15 to 20 minutes hey guys let's check our stew it is looking fantastic it is now the perfect time to add in the seasoning I'm going to add some curry I really love curries in my stew I don't know about you but it gives it such a nice taste then I'm also going to add some crayfish flavoring stock just a little bit and then I'm also going to use my complete seasoning by Eshen Foods so please go check them out it's just amazing and now last but not least I'm going to add one seasoning cube but this is totally optional you don't have to add it we've got all our seasoning and I'm going to stir and again leave it to simmer for about three minutes I have got here my fish so I've got some fried fish here um, it's a mix of fish that I fried it before and I just decided to use it in my stew so I have got um, salmon codfish and a few other bits <laughs> but it's just amazing and also tuna by the way the big piece so I've got all my fish chunks in my stew and I'm going to stir it gently because I don't want to damage the fish then I am going to leave it to cook for another 
seven minutes on a lower heat and covered but not fully covered and in the meantime I am going to cut my Chinese leaf so I don't know if you've ever tasted this but it's just nice and crunchy the name is just called Chinese leaf make sure you remove the unwanted leaves and wash it thoroughly okay it is very important and then um, cut it the shape you like so this is basically how I am cutting it um, and by the way if you don't want to use it you don't have to but it's just something you can try so back to the stew still looking amazing so now I'm going to add in my Chinese leaf you could use cabbage if you want or any other leaf you like and again I'm going to stir it gently to avoid damaging my fish perfect all right so I also decided to add a little bit of spring onions and again this is optional but as you may have noticed I also love my spring onions in my stews so now again going to stir and then cover it and leave it to cook for another 10 minutes on the lowest heat possible and this is it guys look at this perfect fish too and i can guarantee you it smells so good i'm just giving you a close-up here so you can see the goodness i just wish you could smell it all right guys so this was my quick budget friendly um, fish stew you can eat it with whatever you like plain rice but yeah I'm planting everything you like I just hope you enjoyed it thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time bye